Zane Clivehelter with Otters TV here with Otters closer Logan Sawyer. Logan, your first season in Evansville, you've had a really great start, the closer role. Uh, how would you assess your start to the season so far? Uh, start of the season, it's been, I uh, had a little bumpy road there at the beginning, but I feel like getting my feet wet, it's been getting a lot better, uh, bouncing back after Schaumburg and uh, just kind of getting more comfortable. Uh, but I think it's going, going good so far. What did you do in 2020? Because for every baseball player, it's different with the impacts of the pandemic. Right, so in 19, I played in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and then I went to go play in Australia for the 1920 winter season. Okay. And so when I came back, I think I brought back COVID with me, so <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, so everything we'll shut forgive down. You. We'll forgive you. Okay, okay. Uh, so everything kind of shut down, so I just didn't really know what was going on. Um, and then I got a call to go play in Chicago for the dogs and okay. went there for spring training. Didn't make the team, unfortunately, but uh, went back home, took a breather, and I started training again. Didn't play winter ball, just continued to train, and then uh, didn't really know what was going on. And then one day I just kind of was like, I'm gonna put a bullpen video together. Okay. And then I sent it out, and then uh, Andy saw what he liked, so I'm here now. Did you edit but the video yourself? I did, yeah. It was a bullpen I did at the facility. Uh, I work at Knoxville, okay. uh, BC Athletics, little shout out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I threw a bullpen, we had the rap soda on there. I have no clue what any of that stuff means. Okay. I'm not a statistics guy with that, but did that, edited it down, sent it to him and a bunch of other people, and uh, got a call from Andy, said he saw what he liked, so I was like, let's do it. Sounds like to me you could work for Preston in the Otters multimedia <laughs> department. Coming for you, Preston. Yeah, he's coming <laughs> so, that had to help though, just being able to work out. You said you had a, your own venue in Knoxville where you were able to do that, where a lot of places were closed. So that right. had to be a big boost for you. It was a huge help for me, yeah. So I was going there, I was doing training, uh, strength camps, everything I could to make some money during that time. Um, and as I was there, I had a key, so I was able to okay. go in anytime I wanted. And I also started doing some surgical device sales, started to go to some interviews for that. And uh, I thought I was gonna work there if baseball got shut down again and then I kind of just had a, I'm a Christian, so I was praying one night and I said to myself, I said, God, whatever you want me to do, tell me to do it and I'll do it. And I said, if you don't want me to play baseball anymore, just take the desires out of my heart and put your will in my heart. I woke up the next day with a burning desire to keep playing baseball, so I kept doing it. So far, so good. Yeah, and has Evansville kind of made you not regret that decision, hopefully? Oh, I love it here. No, I love it here in Evansville. Nice, right, nice and humid. It reminds me of Tennessee. So. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean the weather should be ideal for you. Yeah. You played uh, at Lincoln Memorial, which is a Division II power in a lot of various sports. So, what did you learn about yourself as a baseball player there that you still use here today? Uh, just the mentality of no matter what's going on, you can only control what you can control. Um, kind of just having that structure of what your foundation is built upon, and dealing with whatever it is being in Harrogate, where the sunshine in the off season is very limited. Right. So. Just having the mental uh, fortitude to kind of just grind through stuff you can't control, whether it be weather, uh, people trying to beat you up for a position. It's just simply just looking back and knowing what my coaches told me was, you can only control what you can control. Right. Yeah. The Otters have had a long list of amazing closers. I've been with the organization for 10 years. The name that comes to mind for me is Eric Massingham. He's in the Frontier League Hall of Fame and he blew a total of one save <laughs> in his time with the Evansville Otters. So, Knowing all the successful closers that have come uh, before you, you having your own success as a closer for the Otters, how important is it to kind of continue that tradition as being the guy to lock it down in the ninth inning? To lock it down in the ninth inning, I like the role because it's simply you're going to be the hero, or as Max put it, the schmuck. So <laughs> I, I, li I, like the, I like the pressure of being in that situation. And uh, the best thing I ever had was uh, my girlfriend texted me, and she, uh, after the Schaumburg outing, she sent me a pair of cowboy boots. and. Told me, cowboy up. There's no sulking. Get back out there and do it again. So I uh, went back out there, and the next game everything went well because the game prior it was against Lake Erie. wasn't a safe situation, but I went out there, had a little bit of a pressure, struck out the side, and then the next down I gave up a walk off home run. But she was like, I was really proud of you because you walked off that field the same way you did when you struck out the side. So to me, it's just having that mental capacity to wash it. Just, it's over with, learn from it, move on. So, And obviously you have the mental capacity because Nick Odo, you referenced the game in Schaumburg, he right. gets the home run. Nick Odo then here in town, they didn't start him, but in the ninth inning they pinch hit him yeah. and you got him out. I got him out, yeah I did, I struck him out, I remember that very well. Because yeah. uh, when I go out there, I remember Reed uh, Mikowski came up to me and he was asking me about the mental side of pitching. And he goes, what do you think about when you're on the mound? And I said, I actually keep a journal of everything that I do in my outing. And I have to write it down because when I'm out there, I black out. Okay. But I remember hearing 
him come up and their dugout to start chirping a little bit. And when he came up, I was like, it's not going to happen. So, yeah, it was, a real, it was a nice redemption story. And then 16-6 and six at the time of the filming of this interview for Evansville, a really good homestand, the longest homestand of the year. How do you kind of keep this going now on a pretty lengthy road stretch here over the next couple of weeks? We just keep the momentum going with the team chemistry, I feel like, because every game, Riley and I share a locker right next to each other, and he came up to me the other day and he goes, I really love this team because every night it's somebody different, whether it be a pitcher, a position player, somebody's going to come through for us. And it's just the team chemistry of even if we get a loss, we just get in there, we get over it, and we move on, and we come out the next day just looking for some heads to knock off. So that's the, that's the mentality of between the lines, it's war. And if it doesn't go our way, so what? Good luck next time. So I think it's just that team chemistry of going out there every game like it's our last and leaving it all out there. You know, chemistry is important, but you have to be really excited that one of your uh, pitching brethren uh, Dalton Stanball was able to get signed by the Chicago Cubs here this yes. week. Yeah, I was very, very proud of him. That's a, that's a huge step for him. A young guy, he's only 24 uh, from his uh, mental attitude. I thought he was a lot older right. because he carried himself in such a professional way. So I'm very, very happy for him. Hopefully he gets up the double A with the Cubs because that's in my hometown of Knoxville. So nice. I told my fan that I said, be on the lookout for him because he's definitely going to move up in the rankings for sure. Yeah, and hopefully he continue to do the same uh, you know, when your time in Evansville is done. He's Logan Sawyer, the closer for the Otters. I'm Zane Clotfelter. This has been Otters TV.